Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was a cabinet minister in 1958 and pleased to be working under his candor Mirza, who was not particularly sympathetic to democracy. However, Bhutto quickly shifted his loyalties to the new boss in town once General Ayub Khan ousted Mirza a few days later. Bhutto, 30 years old at the time, became the youngest minister in Ayub's cabinet. He was appointed foreign minister in 1963. Bhutto parted ways with Ayub in 1966 to start his own political struggle and formed Pakistan People's Party PPP by the year 1970, he became the most popular leader in West Pakistan. After the loss of East Pakistan, Bhutto became the first civilian martial law administrator as he called upon the army to restore law and order. Later, he was overthrown in a coup by General Zia al haq the chief of army staff. In 1979, he lost both his position as premier and his life due to a challenge to the military's authority. Nawaz Sharif Nawaz became well known after joining the Punjab cabinet under General Zia as the finance minister and later serving as the province's chief minister for two years in the 1980s. Sharifs were brought into politics as an alternative to PPP. The man who played an essential role in the political growth of Sharifs in the 1980s and 1990s was former ISI Chief General retired Hamid Ghul, finally elected Prime Minister in 1990. Nawaz soon fell out with both General Aslam Beg and General Asib Nawaz, then army chiefs. Consequently, his government came to an end. Sharif re-emerged in 1997 and this time he did so with a two-thirds majority. He believed himself to be untouchable. Within a year, Nawaz also started developing differences with Musharraf. On October 12, 1999, Nawaz made the hasty decision to abruptly fire Musharraf, which led to another military takeover that forced Sharif from office. Had the Saudi royal family not stepped in, he would have suffered the same fate as Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Imran Khan Though Imran Khan started his political struggle in 1996 it is common. Knowledge that Imran Khan was propped up by the army. Former ISI chief Hamid Ghul was one of Imran Khan's early supporters. Imran spotted the chance in the early Musharraf years and began backing him. The PTI and the military got along well during this time period. In fact, Musharraf gave Shaka Khan a donation of $500,000 in 2002. Later in 2000, Khan became critical of Musharraf on his foreign policy and parted ways. Khan rose to prominence in the 2007 campaign to reinstate Pakistan's chief justice, who Musharraf had impeached and then illegally removed. In 2011 when Zardari's relationship with the military became strained the lock of Imran's political fortune opened and he started becoming a favorite of the army. Imran Khan was supported by the establishment from 2011 till the 2013 election. Allegedly, General Amud Shoja Pasha was the one who made him popular overnight when crowds suddenly poured in on the 28th of October 2011 at Lahore Jail Sock. The PTI was accused of rigging the 2018 election by the PMLN bitter loser, who claimed that the PTI received military support. Imran received the full backing of the military after taking over the office, because Imran's team lacked experience. Additionally, Khan went above and beyond to provide General Bajwal with an extension. Khan was overthrown in a vote of no confidence in April 2022 despite enjoying tremendous support. Imran Khan thinks the military institution has helped them overthrow his government and ever since ties between the two have been tense. Political parties have no place in the system if they are unable to give birth naturally and maintain themselves without assistance from the establishment, whoever or whatever that institution may be. Popular political parties like the PPP, PMLN and PTI have completely neutralized due to such intrigues.